get your glucose, please. In terms of glucose, we use two things. This is Benedict's reagent or Benedict's solution, or you use Felling solutions. This is Felling solutions A and B. This one should be A, which is copper 2 tetrahydrosulfate 6 solution, and this is Felling solutions B. You mix the two, or you use just Benedict's oil solution, which is a mixture of sodium, sodium citrate, uh, so, uh, sodium carbonate, and copper 2 sulfate. Makes up this uh, Benedict's oil solution. So, how do you go about that? Bring the glucose. This glucose. I've said the components of this Benedict. So when we test for glucose, that test for reducing sugar, glucose is a reducing word. And it's called adult sugar because it has the aldehyde functional group. Adult sugar. Yeah. Sugar is a general term. Glucose is a type of sugar known as simple sugar. Do you understand me? Starch is even a sugar, but a complex sugar. Then sucrose, which is table sugar, is a sugar known as sucrose. That's a disaccharide. So what do you do? You add what? Few yeah, drops of Benedict, work, solution. Benedict solution to the what? Mm -hmm. To the sample and do what? And warm gently because we lack this. Let's use this and generate chemical reaction that will give us the heat. Chemical. <laughs> so, what kind of chemical? Chemical. So, we lack light and we want to start the light now by ourselves. So, chemical. So now, we get ready to hit shift. Yes. Wow. Wow. The heat is not even enough. I don't want to bring the. Yeah. If it is enough now, I will. I need to do heating without. There are many ways I can heat this rubbish without applying light. I don't know why this thing has wasted my energy. Hold it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. You know the name. <laughs> These guys are good. Oh, so I love the name now. This is Jenna. That's not Greek words. So on one minute, you turn what? Yeah. Or you know, we have brick red or orange now. Orange. If you hit it well, it turns what? Orange. So please, it shows that this thing contains what? Glucose. Even your urine will do that. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Like urine that have glucose, so somebody that have diabetes. Yes. So you can use this to detect it. But if there is no glucose, it will turn like this on one minute. We are going to test for protein. We have burette what? Burette what? Test. That's what we're going to do now. Burette test. So, in burette test, are you listening? Yes. You need about 28% sodium hydroxide. 28% what? So, I'm making this 28% sodium hydroxide. Supposed to measure, but I will know when I've gotten that percent that will give me accurate results. Just use strongly concentrated. This is sodium hydroxide. Then you need one percent copper to that also work. I'm making another solution. What are we doing, please? Burette what? B I U R E T. Burette.
See, 1% compared to the dose of a C is needed. The 1% means just dilute solution of it. What are the two things we require? 20% 20 of it, 8% sugar is right? Followed by. So give me an egg, the egg white, bring the egg white. Egg white solution. So the solution, what do you do? You add approximately the size. You add sodium hydroxide to it. Hmm? Almost the same size. Then followed by addition of one percent copper to the of the Gradual. If protein is present, what will happen? A purple or violent coloration will be formed. Have you seen it? Yes. So this shows protein present. So this is a positive test for protein. That's pure blood test. So how did I do it? You add. 20 or 20 percent sodium hydroxide to the unknown sample, then followed by drop by drop 1 percent copper to the surfaces and shape. Formation of purple or violet coloration indicates the presence of what? protein. Eh? So get me the other food samples you have. So we have seen this one is color for what? This is test of glucose using what? Please, if you use felling solution A and B, you get the same thing. But the difference is that you drop A, then drop B, mix well, and warm them to the this one, do you require heating? No. So which other food sample? This. No ground. You want me to use this half? You have to grind it now. Okay. Grind? Yes. Ground one. Bring it now. So this one is what? Ground, uh, Grounded bambara bamba bamba nuts. Okay? Yes. Let's make a suspension of it. Yeah. You want to check if there are results? There is protein. Then you add what sodium hydroxide to the sample. Then one percent drop by drop and shape. Yes, of course. No? Yes. It must not give you exactly the same intensity because this shows protein now. Get when do you know the control test? This have protein now. Yes. This positive test, please. It's positive. I you not see these lights? Yes, yes. It's still the same thing. Then get, get me glucose so that you see the difference. I mean, yeah, glucose. Or, glu or sugar, just get the sugar. I have drink sugar. So that we see negative results. If you have ground one or powdered rice, you bring Or do you have cooked one? If I have young floor. Young floor, yeah, you can bring it as a control. So this is. This is table sugar, right? And shape. Is there protein? No. They are, they are, they are dumbfounded. Are you seeing purple color? No. So, have you seen the difference? Yes. So, this is protein absent, present in both, but this one is more protein. Yes. Which one is that? No. All right, no. one. The other one, how yeah, can we so it in? This one is what? There's no proof. You cannot confirm because this, this has not dissolved outwards. Yeah. Then we have a Xanto protein. Look up the unknown sample. You add what? You add Milan's uh, reagent. Milan's reagent is actually a compound of mercury, so it's highly poisonous. So there will be formation of white what? Precipitates. Eh? Which will turn, there will be red on heat. Hmm? So likely turn. Red on what? On heating. Thank God. Are you seeing reddish? Yes. On um, one. There's a lot of chicken. Mm.
It's almost like hot water now. Okay, the other ones are coming. So, watch it. Is it not red now? So, on heating or on warming, it turns what? It turns red. So, that indicates the presence of what? Protein. So, name the two reagents you can use to test for protein. Milan's reagent and what? Milan's reagent and the Buret test. Eh? White pepper test or translucent pepper test. That's test for what? Fats and oil. Just get me any fats. Make the procedure is just to make a smear of. This is what we call smear. You make a smear of the sample on a white what? Pepper. Then hold it against the source of light. Watch me. There will be there will be that's the light will pass. People are blocking it actually. What I mean is that you see that. Here you can't see my face, yes. but you see that light is passing. Yes. Yeah? yes. So this is said to be translucent. But you can't view anything. Look up. When light passes, but you can't view through it, it's known as translucent. So this side, this region is translucent. It is only oil that will do that. Anything that does this to pepper is what? Okay. And oil. If I drop water here, the result is not the same. If you look well. Yes. The result is not the same. Against light, so. Hmm? Against light, so maybe I'll shine my torch so that you can understand more. Which one can you see the light from? Are you seeing it? But the other one is not. Yeah? So translucent means allows light, but you can't be through it. So another test is using Sudan Plain Solution. But we don't have no. You are Alpha and Omega.